Well, the state of Alabama carried out the execution of James Barber early this morning. He was convicted in 2003 of killing 75-year-old Dottie Epps at her home in Harvest. Now, Barber had asked the U.S. Supreme Court to delay the execution, arguing Alabama botched three executions last year, and he faced the possibility of excessive suffering. The court rejected that request shortly after midnight, and the state argued it had new medical personnel to handle preparing Barber for a lethal injection. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joining us now in the studio with more. Right, so Alabama's Governor Kay Ivey called a temporary pause in executions late last year for review, and much of the legal argument in the past few days was on the state's ability to carry out the death sentence competently. The timeline for Barber's execution began yesterday at 6 p.m., but it wasn't until after midnight that the Supreme Court issued its ruling, clearing the way for Barber to be executed. AL.com reported Barber was injected around 1.37 a.m. and stopped breathing when within five minutes. The Department of Corrections said after the execution, it took three tries and about six minutes to set two IV lines for Barber. Now, James Barber was a handyman when he killed 75-year-old Dottie Epps. He confessed to the crime to investigators. The AP reported Barber spoke this morning just before his death saying, quote, tell the Epps family that I love them. I'm sorry for what happened. No words would fit how I feel. Barber also said to tell the governor and the prison personnel that he forgives them for what they were about to do. Now, Governor Kay Ivey released a statement following Alabama's first execution since that pause. It reads in part, Tonight, the justice that James Barber had managed to avoid for more than two decades has finally been served. His litany of appeals to delay justice finally came to an end. And Mr. Barber has, has answered for his horrendous crime. Now, while the Supreme Court majority rejected Barber's request for a stay without comment, three justices dissented, arguing Alabama's recent track record on executions justified a stay. Christine, Jerry.